proposition. Cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore, I am. I know that I exist. I don't even know what existence means. I don't know in what way I exist, what I-ness really is. But I am. Because I think. Because I perceive myself. <clears throat> or because I perceive. Something is on the receiving end of all perceptions. I think, therefore, I am. And my relationship to my own existence and to that which isn't me is sort of a two-way thing. Necessity comes in, desire goes out. Um, necessity is that which acts upon me. Desire is how I at least seek to act upon necessity. <clears throat> or react, perhaps. I think react would be more accurate. Now, you throw Amor Fati into the mix. What does that do? We only know things through the prism of our own perceptions. Amor Fati is a means of retooling one's very perceptions. Um... If something is necessary, or rather, if I love something, is it truly necessary anymore? Am I not, in a sense, merging myself with that which I love? Does Amor Fati fundamentally change the nature of necessity itself? I haven't really thought of this one through, but it's just an interesting way of thinking, or interesting line of thought, I guess, I'm following. 